Hello everyone. Welcome to the 500 subscriber milestone video. Today, nah, I will be doing something special. So you will need a few plates and a cup and also my cat wants to help too um excuse me i'm sorry he's being mr know-it-all today so in the first part of our video today we will be unmasking the treasures of this egyptian dig adventure kit that you can find at a dollar store. And what includes is a brick of clay and some tools to find the desired treasure on the box. So let's open it up. And ignore my cat, he wants to help. He loves going where the attention is, don't you, buddy? Yes. All right, so. Excuse me, Mickey. If you wanna help, let me get the stuff out. So these are your tools that you will need to unmask your treasures. And here is the brick of clay. So what we're going to do is take one of the paper plates you have, ignore any access sound. Mickey found a bag and he's playing with it. So ignore that. So we're going to open it up. You can use scissors or a knife. If there are any little kids watching, make sure you have supervision of your parent. Or have them at least open the clay for you. Yes, I know you're intrigued, Mickey. I know. I know. You too, honey. Watch out, babies. Let's see if that worked. And it did. All right. Now, because it's pretty much hard like a rock, we are going uh, to fill a little bit of the cup of water and then pour it on. So I will be right back. Welcome back, everyone. So now that you have a little water in the cup, you're going to pour it on the clay. It'll be easier to uh, unmask when it's a little wet. And let's begin. The first official piece is off. Let's continue, shall we? Might be easier. Give me a second, you guys to put it on the box so that you guys can see it. All right, here we go. So the first official piece is off. 
What a nice chunk it is. Now, like I said before, um, in the trailer, this is going to be hopefully an hour long at least. Okay, so let's try another spot. And there's another piece all done. So there's another piece right here. Let's try the next corner, because that corner is already gone. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get some more water because it's starting to dry out. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, welcome back. I'm going to pour a little bit of the water. This time, I filled it up a little bit more to kind of help. And it's best to use a paper plate or a foam plate because then it doesn't get everywhere all messy. Now back with the unmasking. I'm really excited to see the pieces. Any other sounds you hear, it's my cats finding something to play with, whether it's a bag or a box. They absolutely love being where the action is. So the second corner is pretty much off. We will continue to go and get some more pieces off and hopefully we'll find um, one of the artifacts shown on the box soon. Okay, it seems to be drying up a bit more. So what we're gonna do is take a cup of water and pour some more onto it. it you know, when you pour water onto it, it makes it a lot softer so that you can break pieces off, like so. See, there we go. I'll work on another corner. Hopefully we can get the first part of this video done, at least today. Because the second part is gonna be a different kit and so stay tuned for that after we do this Egyptian one. Now this is the first time I'm doing videos like this. So if you like these, make sure you comment more unmasking treasures 
down below in the comments. And if you would like me to uh, show you how to make some items with uh, modeling clay, make sure you put it down into the comments down below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Um, remember to like and share. My cat is pretty much asking, um, like wishing everyone to support his mommy. Isn't that right, Mick? Okay, it looks like to be drying out some more. So... It comes in handy when you have um, a cup of water with you. So we're going to pour some more on. Like so. So that it keeps it nice and moist. So that it's a lot easier. The clay would absorb it and make it all wet. Which is what we want. So that it's easier. to get pieces of clay off. Oh, I think I found something, guys. That was so quick. The, I didn't think it'd be that quick. Now, where'd the brush go? I'm going to brush some of it off. It looks like the sarcophagus on it. Didn't think it'd be that fast. Let's continue and then I'll show you. You know what? I'll show you a little bit so that you guys can see. I'll show you what I have uncovered so far. If you can see that gold in the clay, that's what we want to find. Exactly. All right. I think I should wet it a bit more. So that it softens the clay up because it's probably already dry. And ignore the hissing in the background. My cats are not happy. So 
though they like to hiss at each other. Now, when I first bought this kit, the dollar store, I had no idea where the pieces were. So I'm actually kind of excited because I thought it would be kind of fun to do. Getting closer, guys. I'm excited. Are you excited, Mick? You excited? Yeah? I'll take that as you're excited. Super close now to almost being all out. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I think I'm discovering another one at the same time as trying to get the one out. Oh my goodness. I think I officially freed the one. I'm gonna go rinse it off and then I'll be right back. I'll just brush some more off and then go wash it off with some water. I'll be right back. 